we're here with Chris Ashworth to talk about his involvement and experience with the all-new FlexJet. Hi Chris. Hello. How are you today? Just wonderful. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your history with water jets? Sure. Uh, I, I, the first water jet I ever saw was uh, 1994. Uh, I'd already been actively involved in CNC uh, since 1988. It was the first CNC machine I ever saw and been hooked on it ever since. Uh, in those days, I was actually into post-processing and nesting systems, and then later became actively involved in actually retrofitting uh, the machines for, as far as controls, motors, drives, and so on. Um, with the water jet, the first one was a, an old ASI that never saw it before, and the first thing I did was took the whole thing apart to figure out how it worked and scared the owner of the machine because <laughs> he didn't think it was ever going to run again. But um, it, it's, it ran for almost 18 years before it was decommissioned. So I think I successfully got it back together. Um, since that time, I've been uh, an independent integrator for the last 27 years. And um, over the years with the water jets and the five axis, stuff I got to the point where I had a, a I always promoted a better way to do it the industry has been brainwashed that this focal point design is the way to go and and now I have the opportunity to to prove otherwise so looking forward to seeing what we can do with the flex jet and you know bringing some of these ideas that I've had over the years to life and uh, seeing them out in the real world um, can you tell us about the flex jet a little bit it's uh, part of what goes on within the industry, and I, I understand it. Uh, the, the machines are are sold as a, a cutting machine. It's a, you know, it can cut parts, uh, but it's not designed around high production. And I'm sure there's plenty of arguments to that statement, but uh, the reality is, if you have 28,000 holes that to cut, milliseconds mean something. And uh, with what you've got out in the field now, you don't have that. Uh, one of the first machines, at water jets, that I retrofitted with uh, my control or control setup that I was using at the time, uh, the machine, ran, the first program it ran, compared to the original software, ran three hours faster. And they, the company that built the machine even called me to ask me how I, what I did to speed their machine up so fast. And it's like nothing. I put the control in the hands of the operator, the hands of the owner of the machine, and not try to dictate how the machine is supposed to run. And for people that want high production, that's what's required. If you just want to cut parts, then you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're more about with FlexJet. We more or less want to create a, a solution, a cutting solution, high production solution, not just a machine that cuts. And that's, that's why the speeds are so much higher. Uh, and the idea is to create a cutting. The, the cutting will take care of itself. I mean, just about anybody can create a water jet that cuts. Mm -hmm. But to make it high production and split hairs and milliseconds and stuff like that, that requires more talent to create it. What makes it faster than other water jets on the market? Well, the, the design of the machine, the type, you know, plenty of the electronics and stuff like that. Um, part of it has to do with the post-processing, uh, and the other part is what's going on internally in the controller. Uh, some of the special sauce, so to speak. Uh, right now, we're, you know, we're pushing the water only. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like a good place to start. You, um, and that's where the biggest opportunity is for high production, because when you're cutting foam, you can cut it. 1500 inches a minute or 2000 inches a minute or whatever the the product allows you're usually limited by the the uh, cut water jet itself when it comes to that and how much you can push through the material but as far as the abrasive side there's there's a lot of what we're calling special sauce there's a lot to come we ha we haven't even exposed some of what we're working on so i'm looking forward to having the opportunity to bring that out into the the marketplace and, sh and show off a better way to do it, or more productive way to do it. Yeah, and who would be a good candidate for the FlexJet? Uh, on, the fle on the water only, it's gonna be the foam cutting, the gasket cutting, uh, materials, textiles. Uh, if I had one where they were cutting core for fiberglass, uh, core mat, uh, some of those types of materials. But I mean, 
cutting sails for sailboats. Uh, it, the list goes on and on when it comes to textiles. I mean, now there's, there's a lot more to it than just cutting, depending on the material. I mean, mm -hmm. some things you have to have sacrificial things to make sure the parts aren't moving around. Um, but overall, it's gonna be the softer goods, the things that you can cut with water only. As soon as you get into the metals and the high density stuff, then abrasive starts coming into play. Mm -hmm. And is there something that you're really proud of creating the FlexJet that you want everyone to know about? Uh, yeah, well, the, just getting some of it out of my head <laughs> yeah. and seeing it in the real world. Uh, the five-axis head, uh, when I was first you know, conceiving the design that uh, we have right now, it, the technology wasn't there. We, we weren't far enough along. I mean, I, in my head I knew what I wanted it to do, but we didn't have the hardware available yet. Now. Uh, with some of the newer designs on direct drives, uh, it, it's there and the performance is there to go with it. Uh, where you, you, We have much better uh, servo tuning available than what we had back in the day with <laughs> with pots and where you're tweaking, you used to carry a thing called a tweaker for tweaking little screws just to adjust for uh, the uh, getting the tuning right. Today we're much, much better than that. Yeah. And can you tell us about the five axis head a little bit more? We didn't really touch on that. But. It's a it's a direct drive. Both axes are direct drive. Uh, so the positioning is, a, is extremely accurate and very fast. Uh, it's an infinite C axis, so it can spin at 60 RPM uh, up to, well, I'm not going <laughs> to send it out in the field at 60 RPM, but it's capable of that type of performance. Uh, and it, it'll stop, I mean, just, you don't have the mechanical alignment issues that you have with the conventional water jets that are on the market with their five axis heads. Uh, calibration requires a lot more effort than what we have. We're not limited by nozzle length. Nozzle tube, you can use any length that you want. Uh, it's treated just as a, pretty much like a five axis rotary tilt milling head. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> well, Chris, thank you for being here today and yeah. telling us about the flex jet. It was really good to get to know it more and thank you. All right, you're welcome. For more great content, check out our social media channels and visit our website, flexmachinetools.com.